animal diversity. The animal world is large and diversified based on their shape, size, eating habits, habitat, method of reproduction, etc. Animals are grouped into different categories. Animals move from one place to another in search of food and water. Animals that move on land mostly have four limbs and hind limbs that they use to run, jump and walk. Some animals like snakes do not have any legs. They move by crawling. In birds, the four limbs are modified to wings that are used for flying. There are also many flightless birds like ostrich, kiwi, etc. Depending on the presence of a vertebral column, animals can be classified as vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals which have a backbone or a bony skeleton are called vertebrates. On the other hand, invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Microorganisms and insects are invertebrates. Vertebrates include birds, fishes and other higher animals. Unlike plants, animals cannot make their own food. Depending on the eating habits, animals can be classified as herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are animals that eat plants. They have sharp front teeth for biting and broad teeth for chewing. Parrot, deer, etc. are examples of herbivorous animals. Carnivores are animals that eat other animals. They have sharp and curved teeth for tearing flesh. Tigers, vultures, etc. are examples of carnivorous animals. There are also many animals that eat both plants and flesh. They are known as omnivorous animals. Bear, crows, etc. are a few omnivorous animals. The mode or the organ of food intake also varies in animals. While elephants use their trunk to put food into their mouth, Birds use beaks and claws. Mosquitoes suck human blood. And snakes swallow their food. Depending on their habitat, animals can be classified into different types. Terrestrial animals are animals that live predominantly on land. Aquatic animals live in water. There are many animals that live both on land and in water. They are called amphibians. Terrestrial animals have fur on their body. They move mainly using their legs. These animals have well-developed lungs and sense organs.
aquatic animals breathe through their gills. Amphibians use legs to move on land and swim in water. They breathe through their skin and lungs. In addition to these animals, there are aerial animals that spend most of the time in air. They have light bodies covered with feathers and hollow bones. They fly using their wings. Animals can also be divided into domestic and wild animals. While wild animals live in forests, domestic animals are animals that stay on farms, barns, pens and in our houses. There are two types of reproduction in animals. While some give birth to their young ones, others reproduce by laying eggs. Animals are useful to us in several ways. They provide us with meat, milk, eggs and a number of food items. We also get leather, silk, honey, wax, etc. from animals. Some animals like bullock, camel, horse, etc. are used to carry loads. Dung of animals is used to make manure. Cow dung cakes are also used as fuel.